There's a hanging jail, a hanging jail, way down in Louisiana. In the small town of the Ritter, stop and see it if you can. The old jail is still standing, the walls still thick and strong. Its tower pointing up, made with mud and granite stone. Yes, many things are still the same as it was in 28. Where two young men, Mo Brasco and Georgina, met their fate. In the latter part of August in 1926, these two young men were drinking shine, that's how they got their kicks. They drank a quart and then some more, they got to feeling me. Then they set out to rob a man, Joe Burbell was his name. Burbell was a good old man, well known and loved by all. A simple, plain, hard working man that meant no one no harm. He had a wife, he had some kids, for them he did provide. But on this August afternoon, Mr. Burbell had died. Joe Gina and Barosco hired Burbell to drive them around. And on a lonely country road, they struck the old man down. They beat him and they stabbed him until his life was gone. Then they drove north towards Leesville where they threw him in a pond. They took his car and money and they set out alone to try and find a place to hide and to escape the law. It took four days of searching hard but Doc Frazier tracked him down. One man in Louisiana and one in a Texas town. Did at midday kill the man in the trial that came out plain. Twelve men had found him guilty, and they were told that they must hang. They did appeal, they got reprieves, but all to no avail. For Georgina and Mo Brasco was hung in the parish jail. In the hanging jail, the hanging jail, way down in Louisiana, in the small town of the Ritter, stop and see it if you can. Yes, many things are still the same as it was in 28, where two young men, Mo Brasco and Joe Gina, met her fate. Where two young men, Mo Brasco and Joe Gina,